So looking at this video, looking at this week now, you can see here the lace wasn't cut. So I guess sometimes when you buy a wig or when you get your wig made and the hairdresser don't cut it, cut the lace off, you don't know what you do. You end up folding it in. So this is what people do because there's a lace here. I, have a, I literally didn't cut it just to do this video because I see a lot of people doing that and it just makes me cringe. So this is how maybe you get your wig or maybe when you buy it online and you see it like this. So some people don't know what to do and they end up folding it in like this and they kind of fold it. And when they do fold it, you see some of the wigs show like this. Some try to even bring it down because they're trying to hide the lace. They end up wearing the wig like this. You don't wear your wig like this. Come on. When I see people wearing their wig here, I'll be like, why not just cover your face and know that you're wearing a wig? Like, you don't have to wear your wig like this. Come on, girls. Please, we can do better. But I know sometimes they feel like when they do it like this, it tends to show the lace. So they end up folding the lace in. And because they want it to even hide some more, they end up doing this. Like, why? Why, guys? Why? You don't wear your wig like this, please. So what you do, either you tell the hairdresser or whoever is doing your hair to cut the lace for you because you can't. And even if you get it online and they haven't cut it for you, you can cut it yourself. It's quite short scissors. You can sometimes just follow like this line and uh, you cut it. So it lays really flat. Let me show you guys. I think I've done some of this video before. So you just cut it. Just follow the line as close as possible to where the hair is. You can see. And if... You don't get it. You can go back again. Make sure you trace it till you're almost close to where the hair is. And cut it off. You see? I literally like to cut it in my hand. I don't I don't usually cut it on my head, to be honest. But for the sake of this video, I'm just cutting it on my head. But I, I used to hold it in my hand. That way I'll see what I'm doing because I'm just using the camera from to cut this. So. Just make sure you're close as possible. Even if you have to remove some of the hair, it doesn't matter. Like this little bit here. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, you've cut it. So you see, when you have it, it's not folding like it normally folds. And this line, if you want it to be maybe more um more defined, you can use your tweezer and get it more defined. You know? You see, so this way is laying really flat on your head. You see? So you don't have that excess lace showing because you've trimmed it off. And you just have it laying really flat then you can also use your tweezer to tweeze this let me let me just show you you can do this just clean it up a little bit just to open up the line a little bit more to make it look as natural as possible You see, this way is a bit more open. And the next thing you do, you take your foundation. I normally get this from Panland, from one pan shop, because I don't need to use all the expensive foundation. So I normally get two shades, one for lighter skin color, and this for like more chocolate, dark brown skin color. So I just use it and I go on to the line, just to make it more natural looking. It looks like my hand is not straight, but you get what I mean. So this way, it just makes it look more natural. Sometimes I use like the hairspray to clean it like the size that I've touched the hair. You can also sometimes I do spray like leave-in conditioner or something. Just so it cleans the sides that the foundation must have messed up with. So you just you're left with the the side the part that you want the foundation to show. And that's it really. And it's a curly hair. You can use your leave-in conditioner just to just to make your hair look more your coil is pop. You can comb it out. Can you see the difference from before and now? You see, there's a lot of different, like, it looks more, what do you guys think? It looks more natural than before we'll cut the lace. You see, it looks flatter. You don't have that little fold going on here. I see some people outside wearing that thing i just know they don't know what to do so that's why i'm bringing this video to show you that you know and if you're scared of cutting it, you can give your hairdresser to just cut it give your child whoever just let them follow the line just literally follow the line you get it right but you can send it to a hairdresser and let them cut it for you i know sometimes some people don't like you most of my clients i cut my lace, like their lace for them except otherwise if they say no don't cut my lace for me i'll cut it myself then i leave it but if you don't know how to cut it just tell the, the person making the wig to cut it for you 
and if you don't then you just watch videos like this to learn how to cut it so i hope you guys find this particular video helpful make sure you share it to your friends you know that are struggling as well with these little tips here and there and um they'll probably find it helpful so they don't wear their wigs folding it and making them bring it down here i don't like it when i see wigs like this to be honest with you but everyone knows their wig how they feel about this i don't i feel like they bring it down most of the time because of this folded lace so if you cut it you don't have that problem you wait it's exactly where your hairline is supposed to be and you feel more comfortable i hope you guys find this tip helpful i'll see you guys again next time thank you Bye bye